this is going to be very, very tough. I just want to get in and just hide away. Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be following Ellie Darby's morning routine and after managing to drag myself out of bed quite literally I had a glass of water before heading to the bathroom to brush my teeth. The next task on my to-do list was to come back to bed and cuddle with the dogs for half an hour. However, I do not have a version of her being Hector, so I treated Pink Pig like he was my dog and we laid in bed for half an hour. We had cuddles, we had snuggles, we had kisses and I basically just used this as an excuse to go back to sleep for half an hour and relax for a little bit. But after doing that I got up and made the bed which Charlie will be very very happy about before getting changed into a gym outfit. Absolute shocker because I never ever do that in the morning to work out. I usually just do that to lay around in and that was the start of my morning. Well hello there everyone and good morning from Atanya who looks very put together right now sitting here with her hair tied back in her gym wear at 8.46 in the morning. As I would have already told you guys and as you would have seen from the title I'm following Ellie Darby's morning routine today which is very exciting. It obviously goes without saying that this is her pregnancy morning routine and I'm just going to put a little disclaimer out there. I am not pregnant. I just thought that this would be a fun morning routine to follow because I've been working so hard recently with all of my uni work and it would be nice to have a bit more of a chilled out morning that's more focused on me. So I thought I'd follow Eddie Darby's pregnancy morning routine because I assume when you're pregnant you take more of a relaxed approach especially when you were as pregnant as she was because as we know she's now had her little baby and I'm just so excited to see because she hasn't actually posted pictures of the baby yet it's just been announced that she's given birth and I'm just so happy for her and Connor like they're one of my favorite couples on YouTube out there so it's very very exciting but as I said I'm following the morning routine today of pre given birth Ellie and it's 8 47 now and I've got a PT session at nine o'clock now obviously I cannot afford a personal trainer so I'm gonna pick an easy workout and just do that instead which to be honest I'm quite excited for if you know me you'll know that I never ever ever work out I go on lots of walks for my walking challenge but I don't actually do a workout and can't remember the last time I did that it must have been years in all honesty so I'm gonna head downstairs now ready for nine o'clock and pick a workout crack on with that and then after that it's breakfast time so I'll probably catch up with you then so I ended up picking this half an hour beginner's workout which had some really questionable moves in there that I've never done before if I'm being honest. So we are not going to question or judge how pathetic I look throwing these random punches. I know it gave me the ick as well, I can't even lie. But I cracked on with the workout nevertheless. I got it done, I didn't do the whole half an hour, I've got to be honest. It did kill me off and I did happen to spend the next 20 minutes or so lying on the sofa, questioning my life and recovering from the workout. But after enough recovery, I did manage to get myself up to do the washing. And in true Eddie Darby style, I did use the new Lenore Outdorable fabric conditioner and it actually smelled delicious, so I would recommend. Oh, hello again everyone oh my goodness that workout like I've not worked out in so long and they said it was for beginners but my god I couldn't get through a half an hour of that I really couldn't not gonna lie but it was good it was nice to move my body a little bit in the morning it's definitely helped me to feel a bit more awake I probably would have had breakfast before doing the workout rather than afterwards because now it's 9.45 and I'm quite hungry so I probably wouldn't leave it this late to have breakfast but Eddie Darby makes a breakfast smoothie and she raves about this and says how nice it is. I've never tried it and it's got some ingredients in it that I wouldn't normally put in a smoothie. I do love love smoothies. I would just usually go for a bit more of a tropical one and even though this has got tropical elements it has got a few a few different bits and pieces so let me just show you what I've got here. I must admit she does actually put celery in hers but I couldn't pick any celery up in the shop because they just didn't have any so I am missing one ingredient but other than that I've got some pineapple chunks I'll probably just split that in half and then I might freeze the rest of these to put in the smoothie another time but then I've also got 
two red apples. We've then got a kiwi and half a cucumber. This is the other weird ingredient other than celery that I was on about because I would never think about putting cucumber in a smoothie. But when you think about it, I suppose it's just water, but with a few more nutrients. I don't know, I don't know the nutritional value of a cucumber. Feel free to comment that down below. But yeah, I've never put this in a smoothie, but half a cucumber as well sounds like quite a lot. Like that's gonna be that much. That's quite a lot, but we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. I am also gonna add a cheeky splash of apple juice because I always enjoy putting this in my smoothies. I think it really adds to the taste. But anyway, I'm gonna get cracking and make this smoothie because I am actually really, really hungry. Okay, this is the end result. So the cucumber has definitely turned it green, but we're gonna do a little taste test on camera. Hmm, it's all right, but I wouldn't have it again. You can definitely taste the apple. I think probably putting apple juice in didn't really help. I can also taste the pineapple without tasting it because I can feel it tingling my tongue and tingling my lips. But yeah, I'll give it a go anyway. It tastes all right. I'll definitely drink it, but it's not something I'd choose to make myself. I think I would keep it a little bit more tropical or a little bit more summer fruity. So I'm gonna go and sit in the living room and I'm gonna drink that. And then according to my list, after I've had my smoothie, I can head back upstairs and have a shower and do some skincare, which I'm actually really looking forward to because I've not done skincare in a while. So I'll catch up with you a little bit later when I'm cracking on with that and I can talk you through some of my favorite products. Okay, so that was a very, very quick shower because I didn't need to wash my hair as I did that last night. So it was just a quick body wash, which is still really, really nice in the mornings. I'm definitely a morning shower girl over an evening shower girl. And I'm now gonna sit down and talk you through my skincare because Eddie Darby had a really nice display of all of her like pregnancy oils and things. As I said before, I am not pregnant, but I will still talk you through what I'm using. I haven't done this in a while because not really anything has changed in this skincare routine. In fact, nothing has changed for quite some time now. If you can see, I think my skin is in really good condition at the minute. It tends to be quite clear anyway since I've gone on the pill. It's kind of cleared it up a little bit. Sometimes after my showers, I will use these exfoliating pads. They're Tea Tree and Witch Hazel from the Boots range. I do a whole range of this stuff and I'd actually really, really rate it. I recommend it. I use to use this when I used to get a lot of spots but it's obviously important that you don't use these exfoliating pads every single day because over exfoliation is not good for the skin but these are quite mild to be honest in comparison to other ones that I've used and I think that's kind of why I like them because it doesn't feel like I'm scratching off my whole face yeah it still has a really good scrub and gets quite a bit of product on you can kind of see it glistening now yeah, I really, really like these and it doesn't smell bad or anything. So I kind of rate these quite a lot. And I also rate the price because they are very, very cheap. In comparison to other brands, you can't really go wrong with Boots own brand stuff, to be honest. And then after I've used my exfoliating pads, go in with this vitamin C spray from The Body Shop. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know how effective this is at doing anything. It's just supposed to like brighten and energise your face a little bit. Maybe once I'm not doing my masters and I don't have massive eye bags underneath my eyes, I might notice a bit more of improvement, but I don't know if I'd buy this again. It's nice and refreshing. It's nice like for the refreshment, but I don't know if it actually makes any difference to my skin and I really should have tied my hair up before doing my skincare. Yeah, I'll just do a few sprays of that. That just went in my ear hole. Oh, that is not a vibe at all. Ew, it's all in my ear. Uh. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's all right. It's just not like the most effective product, I don't think. I then wait for this to dry and usually have like a little flail, if that is that what it's called, of my hands. 
um, <laughs> just so that it dries a little bit quicker. But all in all, I don't mind like giving it a bit more of a rub or a pat in before I go in and apply my moisturiser. My skin, if you can't tell, isn't really that sensitive anymore since I went on the pill, so I can pretty much use any products that I like and they don't tend to react too badly to my skin or my skin doesn't tend to react too badly to them um, which is quite nice, quite a nice feeling obviously I prefer some products to others but with moisturiser I just tend to pick up any one to be honest but the one that I use most often is this Nivea one it's not just for your face, I think it's for your body as well yeah, face, body and hands it's got jojoba oil in and vitamin E and I just really like it because it's not too thick and as a very sweaty person, if you know me, you know that I just get so warm so easily. This isn't too thick to wear and then like get on with your day with like you're not going to sweat it off in other words. Um, so I don't mind this at all and it's also really really cheap like £2 in B&M. So, you know, we can't we can't moan too much at that. As you can tell, I'm not really like a designer skincare person. Mainly because I can't afford it, <laughs> lol. Um, if I could, I'm sure I would definitely invest a bit more. But this sort of stuff, you know, it does me fine. My skin is fine. It's not hating me. And, you know, that's the main thing really, isn't it? And yeah, that's pretty much me done. Not very high maintenance at all. Doesn't take me too long. But that's my skincare. And yeah, <laughs> there's not really much else to say about that. The last thing on any Darby's morning routine is to go for a walk with the dogs. I obviously don't have a dog, hence why I was cuddling Pink Pig this morning. I'm not going to put him on a lead and take him on a walk. I'm just going to go on a walk on my own. Um, yeah, I'll take him on my walk and I'll catch up with you afterwards. Well, hello again. We've done full circle. It's actually the following morning and I'm just sitting here in bed editing this video. I've also drank the rest of the smoothie that I made yesterday just for breakfast and it's not as bad on the second day, you know, like it wasn't bad yesterday, but it also wasn't the greatest. I still don't think I'd rush to make it again, but I still finished it off nevertheless. Anyway, it was really, really fun to follow Eddie Darby's morning routine. I must admit, it was nice to have a morning to myself for the change. And there are definitely some elements that I would like to incorporate into my weekly routine rather than my morning routine. For example, I did actually really enjoy that workout, even though it did tire me out a little bit. It was nice to get my body moving early in the morning. And I think it really set me up for the day. So maybe that's something that I could do going forward into the future. And yeah, there's not really much else to say. So if you enjoyed, please give it a like, comment and subscribe down below. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.